My name is Kate Ellis and I am Artistic Director of Crash Ensemble. Crashworks is a two-year development, mentorship and commissioning programme that we launched in partnership with New Music Dublin in 2021. Five music creators were commissioned to write a 10-minute work for the full ensemble. I thought it was a really good opportunity to see how a group like Crash functions from the inside and sort of get a look behind the scenes of how a piece is put together, how it's approached from start to finish and it was great to have the opportunity to become part of the ensemble for this um, programme. Obviously everybody wants to write for Crash so it was just an unmissable opportunity for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amy, anything for us? Amy Brown. My background is as an electric guitarist, so I really enjoy creating stuff that integrates some elements of electronics and rock music and sort of unusual sounds. The score is very explicit, instructions with photographs and you know, you have to find the right clips to put on your strings. And... I've had the opportunity to work with Crash a couple of times in the past, so when I saw them advertising for this programme I thought it sounded uh, like a super opportunity to work with them and collaborate with them again. The first iteration of these new commissions was a work in progress showing which was sort of presented as an open rehearsal or an open workshop with an audience as part of New Music Dublin in 2022. Oh, that's fantastic. I haven't, I haven't heard the sign of this yet, so I'm really looking forward to it. Working with Crash is absolutely fantastic. They, every time I've worked with them, they really pushed I guess the boundaries of what I can do and also encourage me in you know the craziness. Um, every time I kind of attach something to an instrument or stick things inside the piano they're like yeah but could we do more of that? Um, so you know they're really it's just a lot of fun um, I've really enjoyed that experience. I started out as a singer-songwriter and what kind of st that still feels like home base very much. I've explored lots of different approaches to music making down the years and have never really aligned myself with any one particular camp. The way the open call was presented seemed respectful of other music traditions and seemed like there was a genuine curiosity there. I just felt, yeah, I want to throw my name in the hat for that. Here I would love to invite our first composer, Yue Song, to the stage. And she's behind me already. I know that Crash Ensemble is a really brilliant um, ensemble, you know, in Ireland, even in Europe. I'm from China and came here to do a PhD. It's called Dao Ying. Dao Ying, yes. Uh, translated into English, it's Reflections. I saw a call uh, on the Crash website, so uh, I, r I really um, wanted to try. There's nothing to lose to give it a try. <laughs> Across the two years, these new commissions developed and workshopped and presented in full at the National Concert Hall as part of New Music Dublin 2023. Thank you very much indeed for coming on this Friday afternoon for an extremely exciting concert, which is the end of a whole two year project um, bringing these five composers' works to life. The uh, title of this, of this afternoon's concert is You Heard It First, but in truth, we heard some of it last year. So what are we doing differently this year that we didn't do last year? Well, all of these pieces have gone through the Craftsworks process, which is a series of continuous workshops over the course of a year or two years, um, for these composers to develop their works, to have them heard by these wonderful players. And, I mean, some of these works are created by composers who went to music school, have, um, are very specific in their notation, and are just trying to see if what they wrote actually works on the page. And some people are coming from a very conceptual place and are developing um, their pieces, you know, as if they were in a studio playing with sounds and, and just using poetic imagery as we try to, to build them together. Your tiny body, warm and soft, at rest. There were 
were certainly aspects of it that I found quite difficult and challenging. To me, what's more important is how you navigate the obstacles and how you navigate those difficulties. What struck me more throughout the process was the, just the, the level of support that was there. And so a lot of our conversations were just about um, listening to her breathe, listening to her imagine certain sounds, and then all of us kind of um, trying to, to, to realize what she's uh, inspiring in us. Um, and this took the, I think the, this is the piece that took the longest to sort of find its final form, but I think it's, uh, it's, it's a mesmerizing thing. We were able to attend some of each other's rehearsals and kind of see how people were working with Crash and that was really fascinating seeing other people's creative process and how kind of very different that was. One thing that was really useful about the process was being able to workshop with the musicians quite a number of times. Because a lot of the sounds I was using I hadn't worked with before, so they were very conceptual to me when I was coming up with them. So having the opportunity to work closely with the musicians and say, okay, how does this work on your instrument? And then hear it and get that immediate feedback has been absolutely fantastic. And then we've built that up over the two years into the piece it is today. <laughs> I never tried in my previous pieces for visual, so uh, this is a really good start, a really good um, try for me. I just used everything they offer me. Yeah, I really appreciate that part. called Little Auditoriums um, and the title is a reflection on focus in a world where many things are happening at once. So for this piece I've separated the ensemble into four different parts and I find it really hard to imagine all of these moving elements um, with a visual image that's unchanging or expected so that's why I'm, I'm trying to experiment with different locations and with mobile performers. So that's kind of a summary of everything that's going on. Because of the length of the, the programme, you really change your ideas and your ideas grow and develop. You could hear your piece as it developed. So you got several opportunities to come along and work with the musicians and hear how things sound because sometimes things on the page don't always sound the same way when you hear them. So it's really nice because you're able to go off in and develop things in a, the correct direction and you can really end up with a piece that you're really fully happy with. If you have ideas that you want to experiment with that are really kind of pushing yourself, Crash is really interested in those and kind of stepping outside of boundaries of, of what you're doing at the moment. Um, so if you have ideas like that, then I'd really encourage you to apply. I think go in with a completely open mind that you may have an idea, but be open to change. Take on the advice that you get through the, the whole process and it will really develop and grow your pace for the better. <laughs>